Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the 8th Pi OpenGL uh, tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is how we can begin to uh, have our cubes basically come at us infinitely uh, as well as not needing to make you know this huge list of cubes in memory. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that we want to do is we're going to come up to set vertices here. And in set vertices, we have max distance. Now we're going to go ahead and throw in one more parameter here, and that will be uh, min underscore distance. And we'll set the default for that to equal negative uh, 20, not 20. Um, and this way we can, we can begin to pass both the max and the min, because as the camera progresses through our little environment here, uh, the max and min distance will have to change. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But basically, like max distance will be, um, you know, camera's point minus, let's say, 300. Uh, and then min distance will be basically the camera's point. And so we'll pass both of those through. And then when we go to set the vertices uh, for the cube, we'll generate new cubes based on that specific area that we're willing to have cubes in. So... Um, this, this stuff will stay the same. Um, we'll leave the, these 10 and 10 for now. And then instead of negative 20 here, we'll say min underscore distance. And basically that's all we need to do uh, there. Now let's go ahead and scroll down um, basically to, uh, we'll, we'll go here, this will be good. So in, um, so for cube in cube dict, we draw the cube. We're going to leave that there, but now what we want to do is we need some code uh, for a couple of things. First of all, we want to, any any cube that we've passed, we want to go ahead and pop that out of our list and get rid of it. So we don't need to have that memory anymore behind us. And then also, we're going to try to have less cubes at a time. So if the cube is past the clipping plane, why do we have that cube at all? Let's not even bother with cubes past clipping plane, basically. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do delete, uh, delete list, and that's going to be an empty list for now, but we'll, we're going to populate that. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to populate it with the, stu the key values that we want to delete. And then also we can um, basically just replace uh, those, the, the value with a different thing. So once we've passed, <clears throat> we can replace the vertices values uh, according to the key that's passed. Uh, with some new values based on the max and min that we set through the new vertices. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to say for each underscore cube in cube underscore dict, um, we're going to ask if we're past that cube. Okay, so we would say if camera underscore z is less than or equal to cube underscore dict, cube underscore dict um, of each underscore cube. So cube dict of each cube. Okay. So if camera Z is less than or equal to each uh, cube dict of each cube um, and the Z value is the, basically it'll be the zeroth element there and then the Z would be two. So like the, the third element is really a two. So you zero, one, two. So zero, two. So if that is the case, then we're going to, let's just say print uh, past a cube. And then we will uh, we'll basically do delete underscore list uh, dot append uh, each cube like that. And actually, I'm thinking what we, what we could do instead is uh, since we're in that, we can just reassign the value right now, I think. I don't really see why we can't, because originally what I was going to do is two for loops, basically. Create this delete list, and then in the delete list, we'll delete, and then we would create new key values. Um, but since we actually have the key right now, uh, which is being stored under each cube, um, I actually think we, we just do everything in the same for loop. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try that. Um, so we're not going to use delete list for now. I'm just going to comment these things out, because I think this is a way better way to do it. Um, but I might be missing something. So uh, what we could do now is we would, first of all, we need to new, know what the new 
uh, the new max value can be. So uh, like we can come up here and we know our max distance right now we're saying is uh, 100. Now I would just say uh, to keep in mind that we've got our clipping plane here. This is this this is our clipping plane, basically these two numbers. So really anything past the 50 is not that important. So we could say the max distance is 60 or something like that. Um, or even 50. And in reality too, what we could do is we could define max distance like up here, like cut max distance and put it uh, here and then make this number max distance. Then we wouldn't have to worry about matching those two numbers. So we'll, like, we'll try that for now. So we'll say max distance is 50 at the moment. Um, and in fact, let's make that 100 just because 50 is, is actually pretty close. Um, so 100 will do. Uh, we're coming back down here. Okay. So now what we'll say is our new under, or new max. Um, and I guess we can make this good with new underscore max. Um, for anyone who hasn't noticed, I'm not like pep8 um, conformant. So, sorry. I'm trying to get better about it, but uh, it's just bad habit. So new max equals the integer value of negative 1 times what? We're going to say negative 1 times camera underscore z minus max underscore distance. So the negative value of that uh, right there. And so that's our new max. And it just kind of sucks at this point because we're basically we're converting uh, from a negative to a positive. So it conforms with max distance back to a negative. Um, it just sounds weird for max distance to like increase max distance and leave that as a negative number. I don't know. Anyway, um, so that's kind of a weird way of going about this, but we'll do that. Now, what we'll do is we will say cube dict, um, cube dict each cube, and we're just gonna, I think we just reassign the value. Uh, we'll see if I get away with that. Equals set underscore vertices. Uh, let's ma let me make sure I spelled set vertices right up here. Set vertices, nice. Where am I? Uh, lost. Set vertices, uh, and then we'll say the new max, and then the minimum will just be wherever the camera is. So camera, and then so we'll do int. Uh, camera Z. So everything stays in an int value. So that should be it. I'm not really sure if this will work as well as I hope. Um, but I think it will. So let's go, yeah, let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Uh, we'll see. We'll know immediately once one cube passes pretty much. I thought I was going to say, I thought we print passed. Uh, name new max is not defined of course of course uh, new underscore max whoops oh all right try one more time come on no errors that's what we need no errors pass the cube okay so cool and now we can see new cubes are spawning awesome so now this is a, a, what will be an infinite loop. These, the amount of cubes will just keep popping up. This would go on forever. We could make this a screensaver. Um, so now that we've got that, the question though and the problem is, first of all, <laughs> first of all, I don't know if you've noticed, but some that cube just popped out of nowhere. So not all of the cubes are popping up in the negative. So really as we add new cubes, we do want to add them in past the clipping plane because otherwise they can pop up like that cube just popped up right there or pretty much they could pop up right in front of your face and you hit it and I mean that, that kind of sucks um, um, so obviously that's a problem um, and the other major issue is this right the user could just do this and come up here right and avoid everything entirely so we need some handling for when the person kind of veers off. So not only do we need more cubes in the far background that we can't even see yet, we need cubes to all of the sides and around us that no matter what, as fa even if we go as fast as we can, we can't you know get away from all of the cubes. We could still hit cubes. So anyways, that's uh, what we've got to still account for and handle next. But for the most part, infinite cubes here, not um, uh, not too much lag like this. Again, I record in seven frames per second, so it might look laggy on your screen. 
uh, for what I'm seeing, but this is actually really, really smooth um, for me. So anyway, so this is looking good for now, um, but obviously we do have a few, quite a few things that we still need to uh, modify here. So anyway, that's that. If you guys have any questions uh, or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.